The former vice president of Nigeria and the 2029 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abaka, has formally made his intention known to contest the 2023 presidential election under the PDP International Conference Center in Abuja. The venue of the Atiku's declaration attracted mammoth crowd, dignitaries and PDP stalwart where the presidential hopeful promised to offer quality education and vibrant economy if he wins the 2023 election. Atiku, who has been tagged by many as a serial presidential contestant, says if elected president, he will focus on five key areas which include unity of Nigeria, security, economy, education, and devolving more resources and powers to the federating units. <laughs> It's not just based on the number of bodies in classes or schools alone, but also the quality and relevance of the education. That is why we will invest in improving access to quality of education. We will strengthen our healthcare programs so that every Nigerian can have access to the entire human healthcare quality. Other political heavyweights who honor the occasion described Atiku as the candidate to beat with potentials to turn around the economic fortune of Nigeria. Our support for him to lead Nigeria broke no fractions. We have long passed that point where we shall be asked to support our own. We are at the point where we are calling on our friends across the country to support this longest aspiration for a greater Nigeria. When you have no power, you can only share power where you have power. You need to acquire power first before you start sharing it. So we want to install a Tiku to correct all the wrongs of the past. Then we can now start either rotation or zoning. Atiku, however, has other presidential hopefuls like former Senate President Bukola Saraki and Sukutu State Governor Aminu Tambua to contend with for the PDP ticket, even as the party is here to decide on the zone its presidential flag bearer will emerge from. Basu Okafor, CNA News.